How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So a lot of you guys have been asking about how you can install a VPN on a Samsung TV. Now, Samsung TV isn't exactly running on Android because a lot of these TVs are running on Samsung's chip, which is just not an Android chip. And so oftentimes the processors used in the Samsung TV, I think all Samsung TVs are the same thing, you can't really install a VPN. It's not natively compatible with a VPN. And so what you have to do in case your TV does not have an Android system or you have a, a Google Play Store that you can access and natively download a VPN from, if you don't have access to that native VPN compatibility, well, there are a few other ways that can help you with that. And this is where, well, one of these VPNs can come in handy. So Express Nord and Surfshark. I'll talk about these in a little bit, but let me just tell you guys about the available options that you have. So just to get it out of the way, you can try casting to your Samsung TV using your Android device. If you have an Android device, you can turn on the VPN on your Android device and then cast it to your TV. But the problem with that is I think you'll still need a VPN connection on your uh, TV in order for this to work, especially if the content you're casting is not available in that country. So solution to that would be to turn on your mobile data on your TV and use your mobile connection as a hotspot and connect the TV to that. So the TV will be on that same network as your phone. And then you can turn on the VPN in your phone. And that's how you have a VPN that is active on your TV as well, because it's taking from your phone's connection rather than the Wi-Fi connection. Now, the best way to go about securing your smart TV is by setting it up on the router. Now, all these VPNs have tutorials on how you can set up your router on your TV. So you can just follow that guide and you should be good to go. But the problem is you might need to purchase a compatible router. So if you don't have a compatible router, you're just gonna have to get that and you can check the recommended routers on the websites of Express Nord and Surfshark. So for example, a compatible router for Express VPN would be the Aircove. This is what they recommend, but there are a few other options that actually work. So you have a couple of options here and you do have a bunch of compatible options listed right here. So you can just pick one of those up if uh, you need to. But if you're not willing to go through all of that, setting up a DNS is another way to do that. And you can again, set up that DNS with Express Nord and Surfshark. They all have their own ways, but let's just assume you're going with Express VPN. It's my personal choice, so I would go with that. Again, they do give you a little bit of a, a hint here. Hey, you know, you can still cast if you have an Android device or an iOS device um, and an AirPlay 2 compatible Samsung TV. So uh, you can do that. But the way you set up this DNS is by registering your IP address on the website once it's registered. And of course, you need to have an account for that. Once it's registered, they will give you a unique DNS. And so you're going to take that DNS, go to your TV network settings, go to your IP settings, put that DNS in there, put it in manually. And once it's inputted and you secure it, then you'll be effectively on the DNS of ExpressVPN, which could potentially give you access to content that uh, is not available to you. But there's an important disclaimer here. Samsung smart TVs are region locked to your place of purchase. Even when you use media streamer, some apps will remain region locked. So to deal with this issue, you'll have to change the region of your smart TV, which is beyond the scope of your article. So yeah, that's for media streamer stuff. Um, again, you're not necessarily gonna be able to get access to all kinds of content and you won't be able to change your regions while you're on smart DNS. And you don't have the protection or privacy and security of a VPN when using smart DNS. So again, the best way to go about this is by getting a uh, router that is compatible with your VPN. And you can make a choice between these three VPNs right here, Express, Nord, and Surfshark. So let's actually talk a little bit about these to help you make a more informed decision. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they 
all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, the NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it. Now, if you ask me for my personal recommendation as far as how you can secure your uh, Samsung TV, again, it's by using your mobile device as a hotspot and then connecting your TV to it and just using your phone as a router that is secured by the VPN. And then once you take connection from that, let's say you're connected to a UK server on your phone, once you connect anything to that phone, any device to that phone, it'll interpret that connection as if you're in the UK yourself because, well, you're connected to the UK server. So that's basically it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.